guys, I just wanted to go over the command and control for cloud switch that I'm considering. So on the table, you can see we've got two divisions. We've got the red division, and we've got a blue division, and we've got the commander in chief just in the center there. So what I'm considering is the commander in chief um, can activate generals um, at the cost of two command points or action points. He can also order units to advance or act um, for one command for one action point. And generals can do the same, but general the divisional generals can only command units from their own uh, division. So in this case, this division general can only command these four units. This division general can only command these four units. Commander chief can command any of them. But that would be a waste of his time. So let's say this is the first turn. We are looking at the blue division here, wanting to claim objective one. So in our first turn, we've drawn a chip, and then we've drawn a second chip for our CNC. So let's just draw a chip so we know what we're doing. Right. So we've got our chip, and then we don't we decide not to do anything, we're going to save up that chip for the next go. So we're just going to have a second chip come along. So we've now got two chips. With that, he's going to send an ADC to this general over here, activating him, turning him to take objective one. This general is now activated, and his chips also go in the bag next turn. Next turn comes along, and we draw two, we draw a blue chip, and we think, well, at this case, you can issue an order to a unit, but the unit has to be activated. So we can't actually issue an order to any of these four units yet. So again, like the commander in chief, we have to wait for a second chip, at which point he can then send an ADC from himself to one of the units, like so. That unit is then activated. Next turn, he will, or even this turn with his, uh, with his next chip, he can order this unit to make a um, move or do act as normal. So let's say that another chip has been drawn. So this general gets his third chip and he says, okay, I want to order this unit to act. This unit can now use all five actions, depending on whether it passes its order on. If we zoom in, you can see our division general has a rating of three, just here, just move that away. And our brigade has a rating of four. So, to actually successfully order this unit, the general would have to order a uh, roll seven or more on these two dice. So let's roll that. And it's a seven. So this, this brigade here can act as normal and use all five actions. If the general had rolled a six, then the number of actions this brigade can use would be reduced by one. So we're going to use four actions. Again, if it was roll if it was a roll of five, then there would be three actions and so on and so forth. Additionally, the general has to be within a certain distance of the brigade to be able to order a unit. So in this case, the general is within eight centimeters of the unit, so it would suffer no penalties when receiving the order. However, if the unit, let's say, was over here, the general is 10.2 centimeters away. So if we assume that like generals and ADCs all move at a rate of eight centimeters per turn, if we were ordering this unit here with his chip that he's just received, we would still roll as normal. And let's say it's a seven, so it was successful just because he needed a seven to order his, uh, his brigade to advance or act as normal. However, as it's over eight centimeters away, it would reduce the number of actions this unit can use by one. So in this case, he'd actually need an eight to be successful for the unit. A seven would mean minus one action. And the same goes if the unit is even further away. We'll move it again. So if he wants to order this unit now, he'll have to lose two actions for that unit to order it. So because we're 19 centimeters away, we use one action to get eight centimeters towards the unit. So we assume that this is representing the order. And there's another action to get to there. I mean, in the third action, this unit can move. So they'd lose two actions 
and then you have a three if he rolled a seven. However, like I say, if he rolled a nine in this case, then they'd get five actions because it'd be absolutely fine. Now, what else a unit can do, so if we put these back, is once a general's activated all of his units, he might have activated, um, let's put these back here. So let's say each one has a, um, and I've got an ADC, and they're all considered to be activated. And they're all activated for objective one. What you can do, actually, while I think about it, is a commander in chief can issue, issue more than one objective to a divisional general. So you might give this one objective one and objective two, in which case you'd see two ADCs next to him, one with one, one with two. And this general can then order each of these objectives to uh, to attack one of those objectives. They can only have one ADC, so it has to be one or two. But he can choose between which of his units he wants to attack which. Um, which target. Now, once a general, a divisional general has all of his orders, all of his units activated, he can then issue brigade, sorry, division orders. Now, a division order is going to cost him two actions, um, let's say. I need to think about this further, but at the minute I'm considering two actions. And if he does so, the whole unit can move at the rate of the slowest unit. And that would reduce everyone's actions by one. So whereas these would have uh, normally five actions, they're now four. Each would be four. And so with the general. His next chip comes along, he can order an individual unit out of this to then act normally with their four actions. Or if he has another chip, he can again order them all to advance and they will lose another action. So on and so forth. That's what I'm thinking for Clausewitz because this um, builds in divisional orders, having the whole brigade act, but also it should, in theory, speed up the gameplay. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, let me know on the Discord server or email me at clausewitz.tabletop at gmail.com uh, or leave a comment in the, uh, in the video below. And um, yeah, like and, dis and like and describe. Yeah, like and describe. You know, describe what you're saying. Like a uh, like game show in the UK. I don't know whether anyone sees it. I'm going off at a tangent now. Yeah, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.